YouTube I'm back once again uh, I'll show you what I've picked up over the last week uh, for the first week of August uh, I've got a pile of stuff here um, not a massive pile but um, yeah a decent amount uh, certainly for a week anyway um, so we're going to start off with the cherry shops um, although this wasn't the first thing I got it just happens to be on top of the pile um, and I was actually shocked when I saw this. Um, found it in the British Heart Foundation uh, while I was out in Bishop Auckland on Monday. Did I just say that? Can't remember. Anyway, uh, it's two ninety nine. Ulysses thirty one. Three disc box set. Um, I loved this program when I was a kid. Uh, it was one of my favourite cartoons. Um, and I was a bit apprehensive at first when I picked this up because that image, those, those images, should I say, don't to me look like the animation from the 1970s or 1980s. And it looks quite modern, um, but actually, when you get into these, and again, when you look at these covers. It makes me wonder, is this a modern remake? But then, there's just one image on the back of each case. Ah, that's it. That's what I remember. Yeah, so I'm really chuffed to have got this. Um, trades in pretty well, actually, for 11 quid. Um, but I don't want to trade it in, I want to keep it. At least to watch it once. Um, see how I feel after that. Um, I'm sure it's going to be very nostalgic. But, uh, yeah, for £3 I was chuffed to have got that. Uh, and these two came from Butler Hospice, 25 pence each. Uh, so this is Full Contact with Chow Young Fat. I don't know anything about this film. It's a uh, Hong Kong Legends release. Um, looks pretty good. Action movie of some kind. And yet another snapper case. We've got uh, heat. 25p. Both of these 25p by the way. I didn't already say that. So another one out of the collection. I'm wondering whether I need to do an overview of these now. I am approaching a hundred, I think, or very close to that. Um, so I wonder whether I should, uh, if anybody would even be interested in a uh, collection video of DVD snapper cases. Uh, and these four all came from the British Heart Foundation. No, they didn't. They came from Age UK, and it's just dawning me as I'm looking at these, there's a bag on the floor, right down there, down there, that I haven't unpacked, so I'm going to have to do this in a couple of parts, um, just means I have to do a quick cut and an edit, because I've got some stuff in there this morning as well, but I got these last week, um, so they were, yeah, 49 pence each or 4 for 99p. Oh, another Scooby Doo to add to the collection. Uh, Scooby Doo Music of the Vampire. Um, never heard of this one before, but uh, happy to find another Scooby Doo. Um, I come across these from time to time. Um, again, I don't know anything about it. Uh, Mildred Pierce with Guy Pierce and Evan Rachel Wood, and for some reason. I thought that was uh, Kate Winslet, and for a long time actually I've thought that was Kate Winslet. Oh, it is Kate. It says right there. How stupid am I? I thought it was Kate Winslet. Why? Well, I, I, I just assumed when I read Evan Rachel Wood there that that's who it was, but it's obviously it's. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. Anyway, it's quite a nice set this. Little disc. Um, it's just a fly inside for the uh, I guess the chapters or the. Episodes 
but yeah, I'm just quite interested to see what it's all about. It's quite an oversized box though. Uh, another TV show that I really love. Uh, I've got the first three seasons and I didn't have four or beyond. I'm not sure how many there are. This is without a trace. Um, the ever gorgeous Poppy Montgomery. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to have grabbed that. So I've been watching that quite soon because I'm up to date on the other three. Um, I have been for quite a while actually. It's the first time I've seen this one out in the wild. Uh, yeah, so that's four, four for 1993. Uh, right, I'm going to stop for a moment and uh, come back. Okay, clearly that was only three. I somehow got that one mixed in the pile. So the fourth one, which was right beside me the whole time and totally missed it somehow, uh, Titanic. Um, not the James Cameron Titanic, this was a, a TV movie, I guess, that came out on the around the 100th anniversary. Um, this is still sealed. In fact, I can't even... It's so tight in the slipcover, I'm not even going to attempt to pull it out. Um, this was the one that had Jenna Coleman in, I believe, uh, for my TV. Um, I did see this, um, but that was what, seven years ago, so I'll watch it again. Right, now the ones I picked up this morning. Um, again, these all come from Age UK, all part of the 4 for 99p. Uh, so I've got Blu ray Magic Mike. Also on Blu ray National Treasure 2. Not on Blu-ray, um, although I am curious about this film, not enough to buy it on Blu-ray, at least not just yet. La La Land. Now, Emma Stone, I love, I think she's fantastic. Ryan Gosling, on the other hand, and I haven't seen many of his films, but everything I've seen so far, at very least his part, I have not liked. In some cases, the films I've not liked at all. Um, so, I'll give this a go. It was 25p. It's still sealed. Who knows? I might enjoy it. I'm not... Uh, I, I'm not one that doesn't dislike... Is that a double negative? Um, yeah, I'm not one that doesn't dislike... It's got to be a way, way, better way to say that. Anyway, um, I'm okay with musicals. I don't mind musicals. Um, I'll give that a go. Moving on. Uh, series from the 80s, Muck and Brass. Don't remember that much about it, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember the title. That's as much as I remember the title. Um, so I don't even know if I even watched it or not. But it's got Mel Smith in it, so I'll give it a go. Uh, another movie I've never seen, Crash. But it's got a pretty good cask. Cask. Cast. Again, 25p. Uh, a movie that I own on VCD. In fact, two movies that I own on VCD. Um, so we've got Patriot Games, Harrison Ford, and the sequel... Clear and present danger. And then finally, from this pick up at least, uh, the best of Smack the Pony, a uh, pretty decent sketch comedy show from the 90s. Uh, right, where next? Cash generators, cash converters, cash converters. Um, I've picked all of these up, I think, on Friday. Box of Delights. I got this on VHS probably a year or two ago um, from the charity shop. Um, a bit of uh, Christmas nostalgia. I really used to like watching this. Um, 
this was 20p i saw one of these in cx probably only a couple of months ago and it was a pound 50 the box was really beaten up so in the end this isn't a normal case and this, this isn't in the best of conditions but this is much better in comparison but yeah this, this isn't a, a standard case it's a, a card sleeve and a, a digi did you pack inside but yeah 20p and also for 20p we've got road trip beer pong dvd dragon ball evolution um so see there's, a, there's a, a digital cord in here but it's one that you need the the disc for anyway for our tunes so there's no point even going into that uh, and finally for the DVDs, uh, Roxy Music, uh, Music Videos DVD, and then on Blu-ray for 99p I grabbed TMNT, uh, one that I already own I think several times, at least two different copies on, on HD DVD, um, of course the dreaded disc rot which affects most Warner Brothers releases on HD DVD. I don't know if it's got to my discs as yet, but at some point I'm sure it will. So for 99p, it was just a no brainer to upgrade to Blu ray. Not that I'll get rid of those discs, I'll still keep them, even if they don't work, just for the collection, the collecting purposes of HD DVDs. Um, this is one that I grabbed for no other reason than it had a slip cover. Um, I already own this, I just wanted the slip cover. And that was 99p. Uh, and finally, for cash converters, I grabbed the thick of it, the complete box set. This is uh, three series and the specials. It doesn't include the movie, which I think I already have on Blu ray somewhere. Pretty sure I got it from that entertainment when they were closing down. Um, 25p. Why the heck not? Then what's next? Uh, so today on the market, um, there was a whole bunch of Blu-rays. Pretty much a bunch of nout, really. Nothing worth getting. Um, got some anime i know this is not much more expensive in cex but for a quid i thought i'd give it a go uh dead space downfall don't know anything about it but this really intrigued me um it's sealed and it looks like it's a bootleg young high and dead it's a british film um, I did a little bit, while I was literally at the market store on my phone, a little bit of research online, couldn't find very much other than it's a film that exists. It's on IMDb. It doesn't appear to be uh, a Blu-ray release that I could find anything about. There is a website address on the back there. Um, every time I try to type that in, it just redirected to a porn site. So... Um, but clearly that cover is, I don't want to say homemade, I don't believe it's homemade, but it's not, it's not some kind of professional release. There's no rating on there, there are no, there's no barcode on there. It was a quid, same as, same as that one. I had to give it a go. Um... Since I've been home, I've, I've got to say, I've done little to no other research on this since I got back other than looking on um, Blu-ray.com. Um, there's a list on Blu-ray.com, there's no release anywhere in the world. So, yeah, for a quid I had to try it. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to open it. And uh, we'll see what's inside together. Just on the corner of it, just so we can uh, struggle to get into it one handed. Perfect. Just uh, get rid 
of that. Oh, we've got some kind of inlay card. That's odd. Didn't expect to find that. I wonder if it's... Oh, oh, I say. Ha! So that was one of the things I suspected, was it's something that's been released very possibly by the creators of the movie uh, in small numbers. And it's been signed on the inside and numbered. So is the disc a Blu-ray R or is it a pressed disc? So it's a Blu-ray R. I even checked eBay actually while I was while I was on the market stall as well, and there was no listings for any of these on eBay. Nothing in CEX, which I didn't expect that would be on CEX, but there's no no listings on eBay for this. Huh. From there, that's really good. And I might uh, I might actually declare this as find of the week. That's if the film's any good. It's got a very low rating on IMDb. <laughs> I think it's something like 3.3 .3 out of 10. 3 point something. Um, right, moving on. Um, you've probably seen everything that's here already when I panned over. Um, this is all, I believe, no, it's not all from CX, but the next few things are from CX. Uh, I've got some Doctor Who, some classic Doctor Who. Uh, for four quid, I need to grab this box set. It's the New Beginnings box set. So it's the, the last story from uh, Tom Baker. And only the last two stories from Tom Baker. And the first story for Peter Davison. Which obviously will include the regeneration. So inside, in no particular order, we have the... Keeper of Tracken, Agopolis, and Castrobalba. Uh, another one I bought for no reason other than the slipcover. 50p for a slipcover. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I already own the release. Um, this I got the other day while I was out in Bishop Auckland, and this is an upgrade for me. If I can find that one. So this is the original white sleeve release, arrow release of Who Dares Wins. Got the old... Uh, red and white disc art on that one really happy to have uh, grabbed that I do already own the movie this is the one I've got this is the the reissue um, exactly the same booklet inside um, revised art on the disc uh, in that artwork or the reversal artwork uh, it's pretty much the same on this one except we've got the the traditional the old white border which I just love these releases and I won't be keeping this one this one I am I'm, I'm, I'm undecided right now whether just to trade this in or Put it up for a trade. I could put it on eBay, I guess, um, but I might consider putting this up for a trade for another Arrow release, one that I don't own. So maybe if anyone's got an Arrow release that I don't have, that they want to trade, um, preferably one that's that style, but it doesn't have to be as long as it's uh, it's. Uh, one with a booklet. I don't. I have a few that I've bought. Um, in fact, I have them. It's difficult to show, but the ones that are sticking out just a little bit 
and the three that I don't have didn't come with a booklet. The booklet isn't missing the actual releases, reissues that never came with the booklet. Um, Frank and Hooker I actually got in an arrow sale one time and didn't realise that it wasn't going to come with a booklet because it was the very early days of them after they'd stopped doing the booklets. Um, those two I got from CEX last year I think. Um, Blood and Black Lace I got because I was desperate to watch it and I just couldn't find a copy, the, the uh, dual format edition with a booklet so I thought that will be one that will do for now and that was just cheap so I got it. Um, the film wasn't that great, uh, City of the Dead, but it's one that I'll upgrade at some point. So yeah, who dares wins. Uh, and also on that same trip, uh, which was the re whole reason I went out to that CEX, um, like I do whenever I go on, whenever I drive a, a, a a reasonable distance even when I go into my local one I check online before I go just to see what's in stock and I knew that was in stock but there's been many places that I've been to that that's been in stock and it's either been that edition or an even older edition before the Arrow um, video label um, on the old Arrow films label uh, of Who Dares Wins that they've had in stock uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that version um, but yeah, the whole reason I went out there on the day um, was for Holloman. Uh, the 88 Films box set at £20. Was it a bit overpriced? Maybe. Same as the new price. There might even be a few places selling it cheaper. Um, I got it with vouchers, so I didn't actually have to pay any money. And it is a gorgeous set. Three disc, two versions of the first movie, and then one version of the second. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have uh, acquired this one. Again, our work is gorgeous. So yeah, that's Holloman. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up and then we'll continue. Okay, um, this was an absolute bargain and it cost me absolutely nothing, but it wasn't free, kind of. Um, what we have is the Arrow US FYE exclusive Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is still sealed. Uh, and it was listed on eBay for $9.99, which in itself is an absolute bargain. Um, I've had a search for this, uh, a safe search for this on eBay since this came out. And occasionally you get them uh, in the US. Um, once you pay shipping and import tax fees, you're looking at about 40 quid. And there's no way I was ever going to pay that for this. Um, and one came up at the weekend or last Friday, uh, 9 99 So I had to jump on that. Like I say, it's still sealed. Um, now I just happened to know, because when this first came out, I watched a few videos. Um, this is the UK release with the slip cover, with the, with the standard slip cover inside. Everything that's in that one, I should say everything that's in this one, is in that one. Apart from this one, is a Region A. But this is the the newer version, the newer release, I should say. With the, uh, is it a 4K scan? Yeah, it's a 4K scan. Um, comes with a booklet, uh, different artwork on the booklet, but I think inside the booklet is pretty much the same as the previous release. Uh, and then you got a poster, um, and that's exactly the same as what's in there. There may be an art card, I don't know. Right, uh, yep, yeah, so that was 9 99 um, As I mentioned a while ago, 
and they've been sat waiting for something to spend them on. Um, Ten pound nectar pints, um, which I transferred onto my eBay account, and uh, so I used that ten pound to buy this. Now the only problem with nectar is when you use them on eBay, you have to spend a minimum of ten pounds. And because this was only nine ninety nine, I couldn't use it, so I had to find something else. So I'll grab this um, World Heritage, World Natural Heritage, Costa Rica. Oh, excuse me. This is the last of a set. Um, I think, that, as far as I can tell, there's only three, and there's two others. Um, I should have actually grabbed them off the shelf. I can see what the works. I can't remember what the other ones are now, but. I think one's Panama and somewhere else, not really matters. Um, and I paid about £2.20 for this, um, which brought the total to over, obviously, over £10. So with me £10 voucher knocked off, yeah, it was just two quid and a, a bit for those. So I was well happy. I'm itching, I'm itching to open this, but I know that there's no need to because what's inside is, is like I say, is identical to that. Um, But yeah, I am so, so pleased that I found that. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's everything I picked up uh, in the last seven days. And it's, it's quite a haul, actually. <laughs> it's, now looking at it, it's, it's even more than I, uh, I thought there was. Um, because I'm so happy that I've got this now. Um, I haven't seen the second film yet, so I'm looking forward to that a lot. I hear it's not that great. Uh, and where is it? There's a blue ray there somewhere. Listen to it. There we go. This thing got to be the surprise uh, pick up, and I'm still going to say bag of the week. Um, it's probably a lot of rubbish. But the, just the fact of what it is, is, uh, is great. Um, I'm glad I took a chance on it. Oops. Anyway. I'm going to go now. Um, so yeah, like I said, thanks so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.